Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. So a few days back, Xiaomi rolled out a beta update for uh, the Poco F1 that added 960 FPS video recording and a dedicated mode for nighttime photography. I will uh, cover up uh, the slow motion recording in another video, but uh, for uh, this video, we will uh, take a look at uh, Xiaomi's super low light mode and uh, see how it uh, stacks up against Google's tried and tested night sight. I'll be starting out with the samples in uh, decent lighting and uh, then with each subsequent sample the lighting will be decreased so that will give you an idea on uh, how each mode fares in uh, different lighting conditions. Starting off we have a scene that is challenging in terms of dynamic range. Now uh, as you can see Xiaomi's uh, night mode has uh, done a better job of uh, exposing the scene uh, and in uh, the Gcam image you can uh, see that uh, the sky and uh, some of the leaves are blown out. So does that mean uh, that uh, the Gcam's image is bad? Well actually not because uh, when you zoom into the image then uh, you can uh, see that uh, the details are uh, slightly better in night sight. But uh, given uh, the overall uh, better exposed image, I am uh, going to hand over this one to Xiaomi. Now uh, this is almost uh, the same scene but uh, with dimmer lights. Once again, Xiaomi's image is a more accurate representation of uh, the actual scene. But uh, Google does an even better job in uh, boosting the colors and uh, keeping the details at the same time. You can uh, see that Xiaomi opted for a mammoth ISO of uh, 19200 and uh, as a result of that, when uh, I zoom in, you can uh, see that there is a lot of noise. In comparison, Google opted for uh, four times the exposure time and a quarter of the ISO. A slower shutter speed helped uh, Gcam in uh, pulling out more details from the scene and uh, the lower ISO means that uh, there is much lesser noise in the image. So overall I think uh, Google has uh, done a better job so plus one to Google. Moving on we have uh, another set of images and uh, here uh, night sight is the clear winner. Xiaomi's uh, super low light mode opted for uh, the same ISO of uh, 19200 and uh, that resulted in a lot of noise in the image. Also, note that uh, the shutter speed was uh, the same as in the last case. In comparison, Gcam opted for uh, one third the ISO and three times the exposure time. I feel I am uh, reiterating myself here, but uh, because of uh, the higher exposure time, Gcam was able to absorb much more light and uh, it avoided the noise too. The image not only looks uh, good on the surface, but uh, it's also really detailed. So Google takes this one too. I don't think I need to say anything here, Google uh, clearly wins here too. It is able to pull out uh, great detail from the shadows and uh, it keeps the ISO in check at the same time. On uh, the other hand, we see that uh, Xiaomi continues to use uh, the same combination of uh, 1 by 17 seconds of exposure time and an ISO of uh, 19K. Now we can see that uh, Google is uh, playing with both the shutter speed and uh, the ISO. And uh, in contrast, Xiaomi has just stuck with that uh, same combination of uh, shutter speed and ISO. So I thought uh, let's click an HDR image using uh, the normal pho photo mode in uh, Xiaomi's uh, camera app and uh, see what exposure time and uh, ISO Xiaomi is using for that. Interestingly, I found that uh, Xiaomi used the exact same shutter speed of uh, 1 by 17 seconds, but uh, the ISO was halved. Seeing these results, I thought of uh, making some changes to my testing. I shall uh, now be clicking a normal HDR image from uh, the Xiaomi camera app, a super low light image and a night side image. Let's move on. This is uh, a shot of uh, the night sky and there is also a tree there in the scene. The image from uh, Gcam turned out to be blurry this time. I guess uh, that was because my hands shook while uh, taking the photo and uh, this is actually where uh, longer exposures can uh, be a con. If your uh, hands shake in the middle of uh, taking a photograph with a long exposure time then uh, the image will turn out to be blurry. And uh, the Poco F1 doesn't have uh, optical image stabilization so that doesn't help as well. Coming to Xiaomi's image, we once again notice uh, the same ISO and uh, shutter speed combo. And uh, before I show you the normal HDR image, I will uh, quickly update uh, Xiaomi score to 2. Xiaomi's image is noisy, but uh, it's the more usable one. Okay, now let's get to comparing the normal HDR image and the super low light one. And uh, again, we see that uh, the shutter speed is the same and Xiaomi has just used 
twice the ISO. So you can see a pattern here and uh, that is that uh, uh, Xiaomi is utilizing the same shutter speed for both the normal HDR mode and uh, the super low light image and it's just opting for uh, using twice the ISO. Now normally when you think of a uh, night mode, a dedicated mode for nighttime photography, the first thing that comes to your mind is the longer exposure times or uh, slower shutter speeds. But uh, that doesn't appear to be the case here. It's uh, Xiaomi is just uh, cranking up the ISO and it's uh, banking on that to pull out uh, the details from uh, the shadows and in uh, boosting the overall colors. Anyway, let's move on. Now this is a special one. So before I show you the night side image and uh, that's the special one, I would uh, like to show you how the normal image yet again uses the same shutter speed and half the ISO as the SLL image. Uh, I just shortened uh, super low light to SLL here. So uh, I'm thinking right now why Xiaomi is uh, not opting for uh, longer exposure times. One reason for that uh, can be uh, to avoid ghosting and uh, blurry images as we saw in that uh, gcam image the image turned out to be blurry as a result of uh, uh, the sl slightly longer exposure time but uh, still i mean 1 by 17 seconds is still way too low for uh, a mode that is uh, dedicated to nighttime photography i mean if you are uh, when we are talking about uh, low light the first thing is to use a longer exposure time as i have already stated so i think uh, xiaomi can uh, uh, do much better here if it uh, makes use of a slower shutter speed and uh, it will have to do that if it uh, plans to compete with night side at all right now uh, xiaomi is nowhere near night side and uh, that will become more clear when i show you the special night side image and uh, here it is i'll say it right away gcam blew my mind with this one Honestly, uh, I wasn't even able to see the colors that Gcam produced. Um, I mean, I couldn't see those colors with my eyes. Uh, the camera viewfinder was almost dark, as you can see. And uh, after uh, seeing that uh, H when the HDR plus image was produced and all, I was just left amazed that uh, Gcam can even be better than uh, the human eye at times. And uh, that's uh, saying a lot. I mean, uh, just think about how far we have come with computational photography. Uh, we know that uh, machine learning algorithms improve over time. And uh, if you don't know uh, how Google is uh, making night sight possible, one part of that uh, is machine learning algorithms. And uh, machine learning algorithms only improve over time. So imagine what uh, Google will be able to pull off next year or uh, maybe the year after that. All I can say right now is that uh, we are living in a really great time where uh, we are getting to see technology evolve itself into a new era. Before I get ranting, I will uh, update the score and uh, get to the next set of images. Uh, now you would have heard that uh, Night Sight made uh, daytime photos better than uh, the HDR plus images. So I thought uh, let's test out uh, the super low light mode and uh, see if it uh, improves the daytime images or uh, if Xiaomi still uses uh, the same ISO and shutter speed combination. As it uh, turns out, uh, the SLL image looks weird and uh, uh, you will get that when you look at uh, the ISO and uh, the shutter speed readings. The ISO is weirdly too high for the scene and uh, the shutter speed is lower too. Uh, the normal HDR image in fact uh, looks much better here. Coming to the night sight image, I thought of uh, putting it up against a normal HDR plus image and uh, see if it uh, does any better. And uh, as it turns out, it does. Uh, when I zoom in, you can uh, see that uh, there is a great amount of detail in uh, the night sight image and also the colors produced by night sight are uh, better than uh, the HDR plus image. I thought of giving a final shot to the super low light mode and uh, see once again how it uh, performs in a well lit artificial environment. Uh, the image turned out to be good this time. There is uh, plenty of detail as you can see. In uh, comparison, uh, the Google camera image has a slightly better detail such as uh, the texture on the wall. So Google takes this one too. Now moving over to the selfie camera, the super low light mode isn't available for uh, the front camera yet but uh, night sight works. So I thought of uh, clicking a selfie in uh, the darkest corner that I could uh, find in my house and uh, as you can see or in fact you cannot see anything. Uh, so let me just uh, put up uh, the night sight image uh, right away. 
uh, if you want to look at uh, the normal HDR uh, selfie from uh, the Xiaomi camera, then uh, here it is. The Gcam selfie uses uh, the highest ISO I came across in this test and uh, because of that, there is uh, too much grain. But uh, at the same time, it's uh, impressive that uh, Google not only managed to get my face, but it also got uh, the door behind me. So another point to night sight and uh, with that, we have come to an end of this showdown. The conclusion is obvious, Google's uh, night sight is uh, miles ahead of uh, Xiaomi's uh, super low light mode. As we saw, the problem with the Xiaomi is that uh, it stuck to using uh, the same shutter speed of uh, 1 by 17th of a second. I think uh, Xiaomi should be more uh, flexible with the shutter speed and uh, that will uh, make uh, SSL much better in my opinion. And uh, if uh, Xiaomi does go for uh, those uh, longer exposures, then uh, it can lower the ISO which will make the image less noisier and much better to look at. So uh, that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this uh, comparison come rant. Uh, if you like the video, uh, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button and uh, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, that way you let me know that uh, you want to watch more of uh, what I create and uh, that's a really big motivation for uh, making videos. So uh, do subscribe to the channel if you want to and uh, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Sayonara.